Today I will give you a brief introduction to the Pentax K system. The Pentax K system is an SLR film and digital system. It started with 35 full frame using 35 millimeter film and then went into APS-C digital sensors and full frame sensors. The lenses come both in manual focus when they started and then out of focus now. So you can either buy film cameras that shoot manual focus or some film cameras that shoot AF or digital cameras that you can mount manual focus and also shoot AF. One of the things that a lot of people don't know is the Pentax K system is still being sold today. So you can buy new lenses at this very moment. As the system was introduced in 1975 and hasn't changed since then, lens selection is huge. So you can buy legacy lenses, new lenses, and all kinds of wide angles, telephotos, normal lenses, wide apertures, etc. It's a great camera system if you want to start for cheap on film, like the Pentax K1000, or if you want a full frame camera that's not the normal Canon or Nikon. So the Pentax K system, which is probably one of those less known system nowadays. Yeah, nowadays uh, during the digital era, I think the Pentax has been the underdog always. But let's say when this system started in the 70s, it was the system to get or even the system to start because the, let's say the Pentax K1000 was the student camera to get when you were in the, uh, in the school. Yeah, they still actually recommend it for mm -hmm. beginners. They were massly produced, so yes. they're like available. Prices are going high because I think they're so recommended that yeah. everyone's looking for the same camera. But they're, you know, very simple cameras, you know, minor things in it. So you learn the basics of photography and then they just continued the lineup. So the lenses are tons of them. Yeah. They're good. There's also one there, which is AF. Yeah, this is AF for the film era, but it still you can be used on digital cameras as with the lenses of the manual. So this is like Nikon, this is a backward compatible system mm -hmm. dating back to the 70s. Yeah, one of the things that I think a lot of people don't actually maybe know nowadays is the Pentax K still is made as a full frame digital yeah. camera. There's the K1 and there's another a crop, size, crop sized cameras. And I think the biggest selling point is the Pentax glass. Who doesn't like Takumar lenses? Yeah, and price point probably for the lenses is a little cheaper than, you know, similar Nikon or yep, Canon of gear. course. So yeah, Pentax K, who would you recommend it nowadays? We said maybe people starting off, are there more advanced models for people that maybe want to get a little bit more than just the beginner camera? Yeah, I'm a Pentax K uh, system user myself. So it's for everyone, I think. It's very easy to get started. There are some AF bodies, there are some of the semi-automatic bodies, there's completely manual, there's everything for everyone. It's a, it's a good overall system. The lenses are just beautiful, stunning quality. And as you said, they are cheaper than the contemporary Nikon ones. But yeah, I think Pentax K system is a safe, safe system to use and start and you can build. And let's say you have a couple of film bodies and you have nice selection of lenses. You can still adapt these to, let's say, Canon or mirrorless cameras for, yeah. for cinema use, of course. Yeah, these are inexpensive ways to have that, you know, vintage look mm -hmm. or, you know, legacy look on digital you know, cameras, either for stills or for, I think yeah. cinematography is really nice. And that render of Pentax is just stunning. Like I've been shooting a Sony a7S II with a 51.4 and you, that it just doesn't look so crisp in that sense of digital crisp, yeah. which I really enjoy. It gives you that extra, you know, film sort of look to your shots and videos. So yeah, and price wise, we talked that they're a little less expensive. They are less expensive, uh, but there are very uh, high end lenses. Let's say the green star lenses with a little green star on it. These are the best there is from Pentax and they are really in the best of almost all of the comparing to Nikon or Nikon AIS or Canon L series. It's up on the top. And availability, can you find lenses in the market usually? Are yes. they rare to find? They are very mass produced and the selection is so wide. You can get from like a super fisheye to super telly and everything from between. They have some beautiful zoom lenses too. Okay. So yeah, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave a comment below. You can also check camerastore.com for any of this gear or, you know, any way to adapt it maybe for digital cameras mm -hmm. or cinematography. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.